Here is Tyler McGill. His first seven starts this year. The Mets won six of those seven games, and his ERA was 2.04. In the last seven, the Mets have dropped five of those seven starts, and his ERA is almost six and a half. On the outside corner and at the knees, and that turns LeMahieu away. Ted Barrett is walking out toward the mound, and there may be some sort of light flashing in center field. Studio set up there, and it's somewhat in the batter's eye. So they'll try and rectify that situation. Everybody, everybody vacated the studio. There's nobody there to turn to, to, turn to switch. Didn't your mother tell you Always when you leave the, the room, turn out the light? Yes. He's right around third, less than two outs, looking to drive the ball. He's waiting for something middle, middle right here. He does swing at it, wraps it up the middle. It'll produce a run as Judge is thrown out at first. One nothing X. Jordan Montgomery comes in with a record of five and five. From late June through mid July, he lost four straight starts. In seven starts since then, he's two and zero. Oh with an ERA of one and a half. Two aboard for Alonzo. Struck him out, so twice he's gone three and oh and then come back to fan first Lindor and now Alonzo. So now Baez, two on, two out, another 2-2 two -two pitch. Line drive, base hit, VR around third being waved home. The throw is gonna get him. That is that. Now VR is arguing that he got in there because Sanchez did not get that tag low. And Ted Barrett is saying he tagged him in the helmet. Uh, if I were the Mets, I'd take a real good look here. You know what? VR may have a case. I think he does. He is safe. Here's Joey. This ball is drilled by Joey Gallo, and forget about it. First pitch home run. It's his 32nd of the season, his seventh as a Yankee. That McGill loves to throw first pitch strikes and that the curveball is the rare pitch he'll throw as a get me over pitch. Well, Joey Gallo said, I'm not going to give you that pitch. I'm going to ambush that curveball. Yeah, get me over and I'm going to hit it over the fence. Get me over, get me out. A ball and a strike to him. Struck out looking to start the game. Bounce to VR at third. Flip across the diamond. That's the second out. In the Yankee third, Aaron Judge to the plate for the Yanks. Judge strikes out, fifth strikeout for McGill. The bases are loaded on a single and a pair of walks. And now no margin of error against Alonso. He walks home a run. An inning opening single by VR and then consecutive walks to Lindor, Conforto, and Alonso tie the game. Javi Baez single to left to tie the game in the first. Bouncing ball. Urshela has it. He throws to the plate and it gets by Sanchez. Only one run will score. The bases will remain loaded. Urshela made a good play at the start, but then an errant throw and Sanchez trying to hold the plate with his right foot and then lunge out with the glove. Couldn't reach it. McNeil punches a bunt to the right side and everything goes right for the Mets in this inning. How about that? As I channel Mel Allen. Base is still loaded, still nobody out. The 0-2 pitch. A drive to left, back goes Gallo. He takes it, it'll be a sacrifice fly. And the Mets have their fourth run of the inning. McNeil advancing to second. No balls in a strike on James McCann. This one is stroked into the left field corner by McCann. Pilar comes home from second base, it's an RBI double. It's a five run inning and it's six to two. Lindor's the batter with one out, nobody on pitch. Lindor lifts one down the right field line. Yes. And it's out of here. Just inside the pole for his 14th home run of the season. Didn't drop the bat until he saw the home run signal. He's been out front on off speed pitches so much that staying back on fastball he does right here. Hit it late, hit it out. Great approach, great result. Not in this yard. Baez drives one toward the gap in right center field. One bounce against the wall. Conforto rounds third. He's being waved home. The peg to the plate will not be in time. The throw to third gets Baez trying to move up and puts an end to the inning, but not before. The Mets tack on yet another run. Full count to McCann. And he strikes out looking. Pitcher's spot due. No, oh, he's going to hit. And he's going to hit. Yeah, there's no reason to take Tyler McGill out of this game. A little number to the right side. LeMahieu gobbles it up. Miguel doesn't run hard, and nobody expects him to, and that's the inning. 2-1.
This could be a double play ball even with Gardner running. Low throw, safe. First pitch to Judge. Bouncing ball to third. VR backhands, throws to second base. One, Baez to first. Two, a double play. Aaron Judge hits one, five, four, three around the horn. McGill reaches the seventh. And if anything, getting better as the game has moved along. 2-2. Two -two. Rizzo swings and misses. Strike three. Good backdoor changeup, it said there from McGill. Kind of moved like his slider did down and into the lefty Rizzo. But that's strikeout number nine. <laughs> and this is Joey Gallo's life, a homer and a pair of strikeouts. That power forcing fastball and just overpowered Gallo. The bases are loaded. And McCann. Possible double play ball. LeMayhew to Torres. High throw. Gets by. And another run scores. Should have ended the inning, but it's been that kind of night and that kind of stretch for the Yankees. The ball's in a strike on Brett Gardner. First and second, one out in the eighth. That's lead 10 to 2. Gardner pops it up. Left center field. Sends Pilar back a few steps. Still angling to his right as he backs up. Makes the catch. Voight thought about attacking, but he'll stay at second. And there's two outs. Shallow right field coming on is Conforto, and he makes a tumbling catch. So Judge is retired. He's 0 for 4 for the night. And where he had been streaking, just like his club, suddenly he's slumping. So we go to the top of the ninth. Here's Rizzo. Rizzo with a drive to deep right. If it's fair, it's a home run. And that's just what it is. So Anthony Rizzo with his 20th home run of the season, his sixth as a Yankee, his second in as many nights, hit one last night in the Bronx against the Blue Jays, pads his stats, although likely in a losing effort, makes it 10 to 3. Who's to argue? Sanchez skies one to right. Pilar waits. And the Mets, who took two out of three in July at Yankee Stadium in the first of the Subway Series meetings, have won the first one here.